love the traffic lights. Feel the love. Why, hello! Welcome to another aimless, pointless, rambling, incoherent jibber jabber. Hope you're all well. Now I had to walk up this hill yesterday, yesterday morning, with a rather uh, steep hangover. Tell you what, that took some effort. So Friday night was the first time not only have I had a drink, but actually get drunk for some nine years. It's like riding a bike, you just don't forget. I had to walk along here yesterday down to the red house which is down here on the roundabout so yes it was uh, Spike's celebration of life after he died back in uh, end of December Skittles within uh, a decade. Drank socially with him, and yeah. But we gave him a bloody good send off, I can tell you that. I thought, well, I'll drive up, I'll have. The lager shandies, because the thought of getting drunk and hangover and all of that didn't appeal. Yeah, halfway through the first lager shandy, someone was buying buying beer, so or lager. And then there's only one way from there, downhill, all the way. Well, anyway, the sun's out. Kinda, it is, yeah. So I thought I'd better take the opportunity. Nose is running as always. I'm I'm hoping for some clear sky tonight, but I don't know, it's a bit cloudy at the moment, isn't it? Get the old telescope out. So I thought I might come out and have a look at another possible location out of the way of all the light pollution but it's a, it's a bit of a drive so I don't know it may or may not be suitable just check in the 360 still there which it is that would be uh, upsetting wouldn't it now I haven't ranted for a little while not properly anyway um, But I'm getting a bit annoyed about a few things. Thing one is they still won't let Brexit go, will they? Every bloody problem they associate with sodding Brexit. Why, why? Because they just can't believe that people had the bloody audacity to have a say 
and vote the way they did. I better change gear. Um, you know, just give it up, man. Give it up. I don't know why anybody was thinking that we'd vote out of Brexit and then two weeks later we'd be living in a utopia with so much cash flashing around it's going to take years bloody years to take full advantage of and to be fair it isn't against the best backdrop is it what with the old kung fu flu which decimated every bloody economy And then the Ukrainian war. But we'll get there. I would hope. Need some poor. In the old gloves. I wonder if I can. Come on. Come on! That's not a good idea. There we go. I tell you what, I suffer from terrible bloody rain orbs. First sign of a chill in the air and my fingers go white. Anyway, so that's been annoyance one among many. Mind you, in, in amongst a lot of the uh, irritation, there's been some relief, some ointment, if you like. See your wee Jimmy Cranky Sturgeon stuttering and spluttering our way through interviews. Is it a man or is it a woman? It's a man. There's a little giveaway. Maybe she hasn't seen the photograph of him in his jogging bottoms. But there's a cluette there for you. I'll tell you what, we live in an age of absolute bloody insanity, don't we? We really do. You know, you think about it, the people that we leave in charge to run the country, people you would expect to be intelligent, cannot tell you the definition of a woman. It's mad. this whole little problem north of the border deciding on which type of prison just shows you how nonsensical all of this is but even the Labour Shadow Justice Secretary who thought in his Good Morning Britain interview would score some easy points just by saying no, no he shouldn't be in a woman's prison there you go, how easy is that? was very, very quickly on the back foot when some simple other questions were asked and it just shows you you've got to do all kinds of mental gymnastics that don't add up You know, I don't want to offend anybody. And if anybody wants to believe they are whatever they want to be, that's fine. 
all the power to them. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. But I think it's misguided to accept all of society to be forced to play along. Right, so this is a potential, potential spot. Although, no, it'll be all right. For south facing, maybe. Was it something I said they've all buggered off? This is where I get stuck and can't turn round. going this way is I've got to go through the ford. Oh, it's quite full today. Oh shit, you know. No, it is quite bloody full. I wonder if I can get through here. Slippery. Very nice. It's cheating, that is. Twenty twenty three, and the deadline for the electric utopia is getting frighteningly close, isn't it? And I'm really, really hoping somebody in government comes to their senses and says, Nah. This is madness. Utter madness. Because a lot of the car production companies are going to have to switch or in the process of switching and then they won't they won't want to be or in a position to switch back.
Although I believe the Japanese manufacturers will still be doing both. See, this was the problem with Boris, well, <laughs> the problem, one of the problems with old Bojo. I liked Bojo, don't get me wrong, but he was a bit of a bloody eco-warrior, wasn't he? I mean, the so-called battery factory that was going to hail a new future for cool Britannia, <laughs> they've gone bust. Well, I say they got they didn't even get off the ground, did it really? Bodes well, doesn't it? So I'm watching. I've got that. Whatever it is up behind me. I don't want to hold him up. But this whole green revolution, I think, has really driven home just how warped that imbalance is between big city London and everywhere else. The whole notion of a 15 minute or 15 minute city in which you should be able to reach everything you need within 15 minutes of walking or cycling well they can poke it and this is why they can poke it You know, you can see what they're working towards, and I don't like it. <laughs> you know. Only somebody who hates car drivers would rewrite the highway code and put the most vulnerable people at the top of the bloody pyramid that goes against common sense and natural survival instinct if you're a pedestrian you do not want to be mixing with traffic it's starting to sound like Stuart Fillingham only not quite to Northern. I could have had him. <laughs> Might need to adjust my camera. Find somewhere to stop. Preferably not someone's driveway.
probably not here either. Why is it everywhere you bloody go there's a car park somewhere? We've got church, we've got thatched roof, pub. Uh, uh. Oh, red telephone box. Uh, I think we're running out of things now. My GoPro's still going, I can't believe that. Well, I'll say goodbye now, just in case, because it's got to be low on battery. Been running for 50 minutes. So, tatty bye. See you soon.